how to solve tickets faster as a Zendesk agent. I love it when you guys ask questions on videos because it gives me inspiration to come here and make some content. So how do you solve tickets faster as a Zendesk agent? Let's have a look. Before we begin, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'd be really grateful. Thank you so much for the support. Let's bring it to more people. We're a Zendesk Premier Partner. I myself have been a Zendesk consultant for the past 11 years. This is my 11th. So let's see some tips and tricks. Number one is to create a personal view to see tickets assigned to you, if you don't have that already. So as you can see my screen, I have your personal view and I have all my tickets in it and I can very easily navigate through the tickets that are more urgent and need my attention. Create macros for yourself for repetitive tasks. There's nothing more boring than having to do the same thing over and over. If you have to do something twice, just create a macro for it. You'll be grateful afterwards. This way you'll be able to very quickly choose a macro that is fitting to repetitive tasks that you have to perform. And this is going to make your life so much easier. Use the play button feature to go through tickets without interruption. Play button is right here at the top right. You click it and it just starts a sequence, takes tickets depending on the priority that's been assigned to them and which ones are more urgent. And you just go from ticket to ticket. You solve it, you put it in pending, put it in open, you put it on hold, whatever it is you do, but you just go through it very fast and you don't get interrupted. If you have a DHD, there's plenty of productivity videos out there. This is not one of them. Use internal notes and at your colleagues to make sure that you get the support you need from somebody that knows more about this. How do I solve this? Assign tickets that you don't know how to solve back to the group level. So you go here and assignee and you choose the group assigned to support and then click save and that's it. Now it's back assigned to the main group. Now be careful, it's very easy for you to abuse this one. It will show up in reports and you're not going to look very good. Create a view for recently solved tickets. If you can't do that yourself, ask your manager to do it. This way you can see recently solved tickets and see how your colleagues dealt with similar issues. You can get inspired and just follow the same procedure as your colleagues did. Create articles in the knowledge base for repetitive requests. If you don't have permission to do that yourself, ask your manager to help you improve productivity. In here at the top right, you have knowledge and you can browse the articles written in the knowledge base to see how you solve tickets. You can create these articles yourself of how to solve tickets so your colleagues can benefit from them. Create public articles to encourage self-service. You can also contribute to this by creating a draft and then sharing it with your content manager who can proofread it and publish this article. Now this can be articles about the product that you sell or the services that you sell and they have to be explicit about how customers can follow some steps to solve the request themselves. They no longer send you requests so you're being proactive about being a customer service agent which is good. You can also use this uh, knowledge base capture app here on the right to copy articles and you can just paste them directly here and you share them with the customer. Hi Mark, did you read this article? It's pending and you're done. Ask management to use AnswerBot from Zendesk to get rid of the repetitive requests with the bot. I know this can be an additional expense for your management, but it increases productivity and you need that. Now, the last and final best advice that I can give you is to get a training. Go to training.zendus.com, register, it's free, and watch trainings for support agents. Also, you can watch the videos on this channel. They are also very helpful. If you thought this video was going to be about how to hack your job and not do much, <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint. That doesn't work like that. And as a final advice, ask your management to get the advanced bot add-on so you can use productivity from OpenAI and compose messages via this software. You can just write a very short answer and then the bot just expands it, makes it more friendly, more formal, and you're good to go. All right, I hope this was useful for you. I'll see you in the next one and bye.